Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na aming gagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Great day, learners! This is Mom Rox, your TLE teacher. I am here to guide you in your learning journey. Make sure that you have your self-learning module is all set. How are you today? I hope you're feeling great just like me. All right, let's get it started. Do you still recall our lesson last week? You may write your answer in the comment section below. Let me check your response if you really remember. Very good! Party culture. We're in farm tools are used in horticultural operations to distinguish various farm tools, implements, and equipment, appreciate their significance, and illustrate how they might be put to good use. Interpret plans and drawings. Perform estimation and basic calculation using the four fundamental operation of multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Estimate and calculate the surface area of a land and cross section of a canal. Learn about the different environmental laws that our government administers. If you can still recall, our first water lesson is cookery or commercial cooking, which gave us the opportunity to be the chef in the kitchen. While during the second quarter, we became illustrators artist illustration now for the third quarter we became farmers or gardeners for the culture this has been another amazing topic for everyone to enjoy and benefit from especially since the pandemic we now live and work within the convenience of our own homes. Our learning competency, the learners prepare electrical supplies, materials, and tools. Our learning objectives are at the end of the lesson. Learners are expected to, number one, Identify the different electrical tools, supplies, and materials. Number two, use appropriate tools, materials, and supplies for a specific task. And number three, value the importance of using electrical tools, supplies, and materials. Let's find out what to discover in our lesson by answering what's new. Direction. Arrange the jumble letter to identify the 
electrical tools and supplies described in the following statements. You may write your answer in the comment section. You will have five seconds to answer every question. Are you ready? I can hear you. Great! I see that you're as excited as I am. Then, what are we waiting for? Let's get this started and have fun! For number one, an octagonal shape electrical material where the connection of joints of wires are being gone. Your time starts now! Time is up. If your answer is junction box, you are correct. Number two. An electrical materials used as the passage of wires for protection and insulation. Your time starts now. Time is up. If your answer is okay, your, the right answer is time to it. You did a fantastic job. Number three an electrical component that connects and disconnects the flow of electric current in a circuit. Your time starts now. Time is up. If your answer is switch, you're right. Number four. It is used to attach metallic or non-metallic conduits to the junction or utility boxes. Your time starts now. If your answer is connector, you are amazing! Last number five. It is a device that holds and protects the lung. Your time starts now! Time is up. If your answer is lock holders, you did an incredible job. How many of you got a perfect score? That was amazing. Great job. Notice that we haven't even started the lesson, but you already have a glimpse of, of what we will be discussing. Electrical tasks can be uh, accomplished systematically to save time, effort, and resources. Almost uh, or most of the work cannot be done using your bare hands. In order to complete the task, electrical tools and or, uh, equipment are needed. Now, let us watch a video about different kinds of electrical tools and equipment.
had experience with the tools you have seen? Perhaps some of you have already put them to use in your home. Do you have any clue on what we'll be talking about today? Do you have any idea on what our topic for today will be? It all comes down to electrical installation and maintenance. This lesson will discuss the function, use of each tool or equipment, supplies and materials used in electrical wiring installations. Learning about electrical installation and maintenance shall make us linemen or electricians in the future. Let's see how can we apply this lesson to deepen our understanding. Let's get it on! Electrical tools and equipment. First, number A, the standard flat screw driver. The blade tip is wedge shaped and resembles a negative sign. This is used to drive screws with a single slot head. Number B, Phillips screw driver. This has a cross tip resembling to a positive sign. This is used to drive screws with cross slot heads. Next, the stubby screw driver. It comes either standard or Phillips screw driver with a short chunk or blade and a shortened handle used to turn screws in tight spaces where standard screwdriver cannot be used. Next we have the Allen screwdriver or wrench. This could be in a shape or screwdriver or wrench. Its function is to uh, drive screw with hexagonal slot ahead. Next number or number is hover. These are the tools used in driving or pounding and pulling out nails. They are made of hard steel, wood, plastic, or rubber. Next combination pliers, we call it line man's pliers. These are used for gripping, holding, and cutting electrical wires and cables and even small nails. They are usually used by line man in doing heavy tasks. Next, we'll have the side cutting pliers. This type of pliers is used for cutting fine, medium, and big wires and cables. Next, we'll have the long nose pliers. These are used for cutting and folding the fine wires. These pliers can go into tight crevices or small apertures that conventional pliers can and there are useful for constructing copper wire and terminal loops. Next, wire stripper. This is a tool used for removing insulation of medium size wires ranging from gauge number 10 to gauge 16. Electrician or electrician's knife. This is used by a line mom to remove insulation of wire and cable in low and high voltage transmission lines. Portable electric drill. This is a small drilling machine. 
with a chuck capacity of one fourth to three fourth inch and is used in making holes on the metal sheets and concrete walls. Hats this is store these tools is used to cut metal conduits and onboard cable. Okay, let's move to electrical supplies and materials. First, we have the convenience outlet. This is a device that acts as a convenient source of electrical energy from current consuming appliances. It is where the male plug of an appliance is inserted and usually present on the wall or connected in an extension cord. Next is male plug. This is a device inserted to a convenience outlet to conduct electric current. Next, lump holders. This is a device that holds and protects the lamp and is also called a lamp as a lamp socket or receptacles. Next, we'll have electrical wire, or we call it conductor holders. This is an electrical material that could be stranded wire. is made of multiple strands to join together to make a single wire. Solid wire made of a single strand of copper or aluminum wire. These are used in wiring installation inside and outside the buildings. Circuit breaker. This is a protective device used to automatically interrupt the current when trouble in the circuit, such as short circuit or overload occurs. Junction box. This is an octagonal shape electrical materials where the connection or joints of wires are being done. It is also where uh, the class type lamp holder is attached to. This could be a metal or plastic, we call it PVC or polyvinyl chloride. Utility box. This is a rectangular shape metallic or plastic PVC materials in which flash type convenience outlet and switch are attached to. Flat cord. This is a duplex stranded wire used for temporary wiring installation and commonly used in extension cord assembly. Pendulet or we call it pipes. This is an electrical material used as hostage of wires for protection and insulation. This could be rigid metallic Flexible metallic conduit, we call it FMC, rigid non-metallic PBC, and flexible non-metallic or corrugated plastic conduits, we call it CPC. Switch. This is a device that connects and disconnects the flow of electric current in a circuits. There are many shapes, designs, and types, and they are classified as honging, plus, and surface types. Lumps. This is an electrical material used to hold and anchor electrical conduits in its proper position. Connectors. 
This is used to attach metallic or non-metallic conduit to the junction or utility boxes. To enumerate, we have the following electrical tools and materials. A standard flat screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, a stubby screwdriver, iron screwdriver or wrench, power, combination pliers, side cutting pliers, long nose pliers, wire stripper, electrician's knife, portable electric wheel, and axle. And electrical supplies and materials are convenience outlet, mail plug, lamp holders, electrical wire, conductor, surrounded or solid wire, circuit breaker, junction box, utility box, plug cord, conduits or pipes, switch. Clumps and connectors. Always remember to choose and use electrical tools and equipment that you are already familiar with to avoid making mistakes. Also keep in mind to wear PPE or personal protective equipment in order to protect yourself from injury. To quote a famous proverb, it is better to be safe than sorry.
little knowledge. Did you know that? Electricity, facts and figures. Electricity travels at the speed of light about 300,000 kilometers per second. A spark of static energy can measure up to 3,000 volts. The average teaser emits 50,000 volts. A bulk lighting of lighting can measure up to 3 million volts and last less than one second. Wow! I was so impressed. Okay, let us answer what's more to gauge what you have learned in today's lessons. Direction. Identify the following tools and materials. You are given five seconds to answer each number. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number one. Your time starts now. If your answer for number one is convenience outlet, then you got it right. Number two, your time starts now. All right, if your answer is portable, electric drill then you're right number three your time starts now time is up if your answer is lock holders very good Number four, your time starts now. All right, if your answer is, can do this all time. Excellent. Number five, your time starts now. is up if your answer is mail flag your fantastic number six your time starts now all right if your answer is flags Number seven, your turn now. Time is up. If your answer is standard or flat screwdriver, perfect. Number eight. Your time starts now! Time is off! If your answer is on the screwdriver or wrench, you're a genius! Number 9! Your time starts now! Right, if your answer is wire is stripper, you're incredibly intelligent. Last number, 
five. Your time starts now. Oops. All right. If your answer is Phillips screwdriver, excellent. Oh. How many of you got a perfect score on this activity? If you answer all correctly, send a smiling face emoji in the comment section. I am truly amazed. You all did a job well done. Congratulations. And this lesson, in designing and testing the electrical equipment, we need to utilize arithmetic to figure out how many amps and volts are needed for electrical tests. If ever you wanted to pursue electrical installation and maintenance, you can be electrical engineer. And this is a study and application of physics and mathematics, as well as the aspect of electricity, electronics, and electromagnetic to big or small scale systems in order to process uh, data and convey energy. Now, for your assignment, answer assessment on page five, then send to your Daily teacher. Once again, this is Mamrox saying like the or like an electrician or lineman. We should always be smart in choosing appropriate tools, materials, and supplies for our specific tasks. Keep in mind to value their use and importance. Lastly, never forget to wear a PPE or personal protective equipment for your safety and protection. Remember class, whatever is the situation, education must go on. Thank you and God bless. Bye-bye.